Hi, and welcome to the Quantum Alignment System. I'm Karen Curry Parker. Our natural state in life is to be in a state of well-being, a state of lovability, a state where we feel powerful, a state where we are courageous and fear doesn't hold us back, a state where we are decisive and we know how to make good and right choices for ourselves, a state where we are emotionally wise and not reactive and buffeted by changes and shifts in emotional energy, a state where we trust ourselves and know how to connect into a deeper source of wisdom and insights about what's good and right and correct for us, a state where we are physically vital, emotionally vital, energetically vital, spiritually vital, and able to tap into energies in ways that go beyond just our physical expression. A state where we are fully expressing our authentic self, the truth of who we are with courage, with confidence that who we are in the world serves a vital place in the cosmic plan and a place, a state where we understand deeply the value of who we are. This is the nature of our hardwiring. These states create the energy of well-being and when we are aligned with these states, we are healthy, we are able to fulfill our destiny, we are able to move forward in our lives with meaning and purpose. You don't just live a life of well-being by accident. There's actually a science behind creating a life filled with well-being. We call this science quantum creativity. Whenever you are creating anything in your life, whether it's creating physical health and wellness, creating great relationships, creating money, creating work you love, creating a life that you love, even creating a spiritually rich connection in the way that's right and good for you, you are pulling on different bodies of information that influence what and how you end up creating in your life. That first body of information that you are creating from or that you're choosing from is called the quantum field. The quantum field is literally all of the potentials, all of the possibilities of the life, the different lives you could be living. So in the quantum field, this unmanifest reality, this potential filled reality, there already exists a version of you that is healthy, vital, that has great relationships, that has a community that feels supported and loving, that has the money you want, the work you want, the life you want, the health you want. That potential you is existing in this unlimited field. And when you are creating, you are plucking those potentials, the potential that you've manifested or created in your life right now. And when you want to create something different in your life, you are pulling a different potential, a different possibility out of this field of options that exists beyond the time space continuum, beyond your physical conscious reality right now. When you are making your choices from the quantum field, when you are choosing potentials that you are making manifest in your life, before you can choose something out of the quantum field, you are also going to be using a filter, a filter of information that's going to influence which of the potentials you pull out of the quantum field. The first filter that you choose from is called the mental and the emotional body. This is the filter or the energy field or the information field in your energy field where you store your thoughts, your beliefs, your pain and joy and all the energy and the information from your past experiences. This is where you store the imprinting from your parents' belief systems and your family's belief systems. This is where you store your identity, your personality that you're occupying, the story of your life that you're living right now and all the components of that story, the archetypes that you are most intrigued with and most drawn to expressing in your life. This is even the place where you store your genetic programming, your epigenetics that carry within, within them a code of information that influences the way in which you express your DNA and contains within them the history of the story of not only yourself and your own life, but even the energy history and the story and the memories of things that have come before in your family legacy. This is where you carry not only imprinting from your parents, but the history of who your family is and the genetic legacy that you come from. The next part of your filter, if you will, that you, you 
choose through that influences what you pick out of the quantum field is called your subtle body. The subtle body is the energy template that holds in place everything that you've already created. It contains the echo of things that you are discreating in your life. Maybe if you've had a cold and you're healing, the leftover energy from your cold will be stored in your subtle body as it leaves your energy field. And it also contains in it the things that you are potentially about to manifest in your physical reality. This is the level of the energy field where we do things like acupuncture. If you've ever had energy healing, this is the level at which an energy healer will work. If you've ever used homeopathy or flower essences or essential oils, this is the level at which those modalities are operating on. They are restoring or realigning your energy blueprint, your energy template, and creating a healthy template or realigning your energy template to help you manifest a more vital or healthy physical form. The last body of information that's influencing what you choose out of the quantum field is your manifested reality, your life right now. Whatever you're experiencing in your life right now is going to be influencing what you continue to choose or what you desire to change if you don't like what you're choosing right now out of the quantum field. Another simple way of looking at this might be to just keep it really simple like in this diagram. There exists a quantum field of infinite possibilities, different potentials that you could be living right now. Between that field of infinite possibilities lies a filter. That filter includes the energies of your past, the energies of your family, the energies of your own experiences, the energies of your belief systems, and even the energies of your DNA. And that filter is going to influence what you attract or what you create or which possibilities you're choosing to collapse, as they say in quantum physics, in your physical life right now. Again, in the name of keeping this as simple as possible, this is a diagram of your aura or your energy field. Now, I don't necessarily believe that it's laid out in nice little pretty layers like this. I think it's more of a moving, malleable body of energy. But if you can imagine, you are pulling quantum possibilities, infinite potentials out of the quantum field through this energy field. And this energy field serves as a filter that influences what are you gonna choose? What are you gonna create? Are you gonna create empowered, loving, delicious, juicy relationships? Or are you gonna to continue to create perhaps the same old pattern that you've been conditioned to see in your relationships? Now, the big question is not only why are you creating what you're creating, the other question we also wanna ask is, if you don't like what you're creating right now, if you're not experiencing optimal well-being in your life, what needs to happen in the creative process to help you create something different in your life? Quantum scientists can only measure either the movement or the location of quantum particles, sometimes known as atoms and subatomic particles. So everything in life is made up of atoms and subatomic particles. Those atoms have a very particular way of behaving. Now, when quantum scientists, these are science that study atomic movement, when quantum scientists measure atoms, they can only measure the movement of the atoms or the subatomic particles, or they can measure the location of a particle. So if, they're, if a scientist is looking at an atom, they can only see it move and measure that, or they can only measure its location and measure that, they cannot measure both movement and location at the same time. Movement of a quantum particle contains potential. So the quantum field is in constant movement. It's not located anywhere, it's just moving. Location means it's manifested. So when we look at a quantum particle and we measure its location, we actually stop its movement and we locate it and consequently move it out of being potential into manifestation. Now here's where it gets more interesting for us humans. Meaning, the meaning we give ideas, thoughts, concepts, archetypes, the meaning we give these energies, these potentials, determines 
what is made manifest. So the meaning we give thoughts, ideas, potentials, archetypes, influences what we actually end up creating or experiencing or which potentials we end up collapsing into our physical reality. Meaning, the meaning we give things is determined by our conditioning field, the mental and the emotional body. We give things meaning based on our experiences. If you want to create a different state of well-being in your life, you have to first start by changing the meanings you give thoughts, ideas, concepts, and archetypes. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go do a little experiment here. Your perception of the world, the meaning you give it, determines, in essence, what you create in your physical reality. Let me show you what I mean. I want you to take a moment right now. Just think of your mother. Now, mother is an idea. It's a neutral archetype, right? A mother, by definition, is simply a female who has given birth to a child, right? That's a mother. But mother, the meaning we give mother, is complex and varied. Nobody listening to this video is going to have the same meaning around the word mother. Some of you maybe have a memory of a mother who you love very much, but maybe you miss. Some of you have a great relationship with your mother and that word mother with that archetype mother draws up that strong heart-based connection that you have with your mother right now. Some of you maybe don't have a great meaning around the energy of the word mother. When I said the word mother, you immediately created a photon storm in your brain. A photon storm is simply a storm of light. Your brain began to create a light storm. Scientists can see this, they can measure this. That photon storm in turn stimulated your brain to create neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are chemicals that flow through your brain and through your body and create specific physical responses. If I was going to sit you down in the lab and I gave you an archetype and you created a photon storm in response to the language that I used, I could actually measure tangibly, physically, the neurotransmitters that you released in response to that word. Those neurotransmitters in turn course through your body. They then stimulate a specific emotional response. That emotional response in turn calibrates your heart and your heart resonance field and then programs your reticular activating system to be aware of, to pay attention to the stimuli in your environment and you then in turn, in response to that light storm that you created, begin to draw into your awareness and draw into your experience physically energies and opportunities and interactions that match the energy that you're giving off in response to the photon storm that you created in response to the meaning that you gave the word mother. So every one of you who heard the word mother, you created a specific response to that word that in turn physiologically and energetically creates your experience of the idea of mother in your physical life. Photons are a part of your creative medium. Light is part of your creative medium. You are so powerful that you literally turn light into form. That's what you just did in this little exercise. The piece that's so important to think about though is what inspires the movement of the photons in the first place? It's whatever you're carrying in your filter your thoughts, your beliefs, your past experiences, your unique energy blueprint, the design of who you are that makes you who you are, the person who you are in this lifetime. These factors are contained within your filter. And if you are not creating a life that is full of well-being, meaning, joy, and purpose, it means there's stuff in your filter that isn't allowing you to choose those as possibilities from the quantum field and collapse them or manifest them into your physical life right now. If you want to create a life of well-being, if you want to get back to your natural state of abundance and joy, health and vitality, 
You have to look at what's in that filter and if it's not working correctly, if it's got stuff in there that's not serving you, but it's not creating for you, allowing you to choose what you really want in your life, you got to clear the filter first, which is the power of what we do with the quantum alignment system.